Okay, I have no idea where I was at. I have no idea what I said I was going to do next. All I know is, is I'm going to put the tea things up. <laughs> I, got, I got sidetracked um, with um, this. I don't know. I don't like this here anymore. There's just not enough room for me to properly spread it out. I totally changed my mind. We're putting it somewhere else. Let's see. Maybe it would look good over here on this top shelf. find something to put under there <coughs> um hang on i'm gonna go scrap hunting okay so let's see what we gotta do <clears throat> i got two pieces of wood i think that's too thick So now it will be stable. Oh, let's put you up here. Yeah, now you can see. I think you can see well, yeah. seeds. I think that's, ja that's jasmine. And I've got lemon and raspberry. And the jasmine containers at the house. Here's those odd snacks that I bought. And a container that's got a couple of tea bags in it. Let's see what this is. Oh, white chocolate peppermint tea. It's awesome by the way. And a, <clears throat> a chai tea. Actually, it's a combination of two different chai teas. And a few tea bags. I've got to replenish that. And I'm not too fond of this. It says chai tea also. But when you make it, it's all like grainy and crap. So, I might put that out there in the tea stuff for people to you know do if they want to and um and then this is i haven't made this tea yet it's chamomile and this is just chamomile flowers and so i gotta open that up and see how that does for tea but i think i'll put this out there on the back bar in case anybody wants to do make some tea out of it because i don't like it maybe it's an acquired taste and i haven't acquired it that's all i know i have not acquired it so, okay, so we're putting um, containers away, and oh, there's the top of the can opener. Now the can opener is in one piece. somewhere. 
Okay, we'll come back to that. Oh, and this was that pretty dolly that was on the wall um, in there, and, and I'm gonna utilize this some way in decoration. And here is some containers. We'll use these, I know, in some way for classes. Oop, we forgot the napkins with the tea things. Put those up here. Oh, I don't remember what that is. That's some containers. Ah, candle wicks. This, that really should be over here. I need another tub. Candle wicks. There we go. So here these are. Oh, wouldn't you know they're <laughs> They're the wrong size. I gotta take these back. It's the small ones I need for this box. Oh, he gonna be piggledy. Well, anyway, I think this is gonna. Oh, <laughs> back the camera where you can see. These looked, you know, right. I thought it looked like the wide one, but it's not the wide one. This is what we're gonna keep our lie records in. Um, so I'll have to take those back to Dollar General. And that is going to go in the front. Who buys lie? Well, actually, I'll put it over here with the lie. those over here and fold that up and put it over here for wiping hands uh, more vinegar let's see I got one here so I think I need one over here so maybe over there vinegar at all contact points and oh these are my demo soaps um so i need to freshen those up and i use those for um showing what you can do in the soap classes and this is a discounted bar of soap oh this is my sign kim's place my daddy made me that i'm gonna hang that up over the the door here. I'm gonna see what this is. Oh. 
empty container goes up here and the uh, once I figure out where the rest of those are they need to go up here as well and these are molds and I've never tried these for your but this is a box I use to make soap with and some molds and so I think I'll put that over in this corner. Okay. And I need to get this situated. But I should finish with what I start. Can quit walking around for Kimberly and and you got to start what you finish, or finish what you start. So, this is those things I used to make bar number, is it 16? It's the Gigolo Joe. More bowls. This one is dirty. It's going to the sink. Don't ask me why. Water. Water. Another discounted bar soap. Hmm. Hot plate. I'm gonna use that up here. Napkins for decoration. Tablecloth dirty needs to be washed. Should have been washed before it came here. Same thing. Some more of these little cute containers. One with spices in it. Put this razor knife here. Well, no, actually, it goes down here, no, right here with the knives. And this, where is it that these go? Oh, yeah. We haven't found a new home for those yet. We've got just a big bucket. So we're going to have to find a new home for those. Miscellaneous shea butters and stuff. I'll be using every bit of this emulsifying wax this time to buy more. have those accessible and this goes in here for her to dip with uh, this is extension cords and power strips and that needs to go in the back room to the side where I need them I'll be using some of those at the bar Good. And let's see. Where does the 
Oh, I think it goes down here. And that's the bucket. Everything that was in the drawers of that one cabinet that didn't come down here, they're in this. So, thermometers, all kinds of stuff. Got to find a new home for that. And funnel goes up here. Decorating cloth, a receipt, and a recipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. And in the bucket. And the knife goes in the knife drawer. Don't ask me, I do not know why I'm a step that scattered. Um, see what I mean? Okay, so another box, whoop, screws. Don't know why there's screws in here, but I'm gonna put them on the counter till I figure out, and then this is alcohol spray, and so maybe here would be good. And another box box the dust. Woohoo! Another box box the dust. Oh yeah, yeah. Another box box the dust. Oh okay. yeah. And so let's see what else we got here. These are dirty. These going in the sink. Another box of stuff, thermometer, two bowls that don't go here. And this is our tablespoons and things. And I'm gonna put those there. I used to keep them in that cabinet down there, but I think that's much better. Um, than it actually going to the bar. I think that's where this will go. for the uh, shelf up there. Lysol spray. Dawn dish detergent. turned around a little bit and I think to help on uploading I'm gonna cut this off and cut it right back on so this video clips not too long okay I found my incense
chamomile, wild orchid, and we can put some, I think that's wild orchid ones in my little homemade burner. I'm supposed to have a plate under it. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing. And then I put a, I cut a piece of cardboard to act like the lid and poked four holes in it. But normally I put a paper plate under it. I don't know what happened to the paper plate. But we can do that for now. We go. Now we're making the place smell good. See? Isn't that nifty? And you should both have a paper plate because the ash drops on the table. See? The ash just drops down right here all around it. So I normally keep a paper, a waxed paper plate under it. Okay. So soak is for the homemade laundry detergent so it goes behind the bar and here is the rest of those things. Uh, this needs to go with those and I don't know what she did when she was done with them. There they are. My homemade perfumes. I'm gonna go put these out on the main shelf. Okay, I decided this was a better angle. And I think if I, uh, I had a visitor, Mike will come by to see me. And so I put the, the quarter on charge. It says I got a full battery, but I don't believe it. Um, and uh, and everything. So, oh, I think this does go over here. And so we're gonna. This is emulsified sugar scrub. Um, you can find find the recipe for this on Sopalooza uh, website or blog, and she sells all kinds of wonderful things. And I ca I got this at the soap convention in West Virginia, I believe it was. And I have just been hanging on to it to see how the preservative would hold up and how it would hold up. And it's held up really, really good. One of these days, I'm gonna make a multiplying sugar scrub. So anyway, so this has been a, te a test project. And uh, we'll just poke it in that corner over there. Oh, tools, tools. Tools go back here.
there's any other tools that need to go back there. I don't see anything else at the moment. So. Close that back down. So, ah. Uh, selling this stuff by the ounce for people to make um, homemade sugar scrub so this will go on the shelves and I've got to get some more of it I mean not homemade sugar scrub homemade laundry detergent gosh almighty I'm going crazy oh let me know I found more tools Oh. Okay. That's those mole things. Put the balls up. Citronella had this for ages, eons and eons. And I'm not going to sell the mustard seed essential oil because that stuff's so pungent. And then here is some of my kit essential oils, some grapefruit. Some tea tree from Walmart. I wonder how long I've had that. Can't find that needs to be out there. Ooh, that's that fun Palo Santo, Santo essential oil that lady gave me. And then uh, strawberry fragrance, French vanilla. Jasmine and fruit fantasia, but these need to be out on the main shelf. So we shall put these over here. something with <coughs> that was left over and I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I'll put it in this closet until I figure out. And uh, organic coconut milk. I gotta get more of that and organic coconut oil. 
more of that. I've been waiting because they may start having that for sale at Essential Depot, organic or virgin or something. Okay, empty box. Another box bites the dust. Another box bites the dust. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another box bites the dust. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Oh, I'm dreading this one. Oh, it looks heavy. <coughs> My incense is making me cough. Ah, golf wax. I use that for videos. More alcohol bottles. I can't remember if this one was broke. It don't look broke. And sea salt. And lye for making um, lye for making um, what you call it? Um, liquid soap. Put that back there. Sea salt down here. And oh, my old soap cutter. My friend. This will go out there. Huh. Uh, this is my divider boards for the soap molds. Moles. I couldn't get this one to work. I did this one with the melting pour and I couldn't get the stuff out. Maybe y'all guys will know how to do that. With these plastic ones, it's for candy. How do you get the melting pour out of there? Okay, more products to go on the back bar to sell. I think I'll put those there. All this is going to go in canisters kind of thing and be available for sale. And put all that stuff right there. I got to work up a price list. And so... Ah, do y'all remember this? I love this thing. I use it in the soapery to cover up with when I'm like resting. Um, and Tanya Waters made it for me. And so, whoop, there we go. Throw it in a hole. I thought I was putting it in a non hole. I gotta have this somewhere accessible. Easy, there's a hole. There we go. For when I want to cover up and keep warm. Office supplies goes over here for a moment. Another towel to be washed. More garbage. Box for my um, um Oh, scale. Oh, garbage bags. Oh, these are my testers. This I'm going to have to go through at another time. I'm going to put this in the craft box, go through, and the garbage bags to put wherever later. And this is tester jars let's see mmm still smells good looks good 
I haven't used these since I went to the farmer's market. So that was before, what was it, September? Yeah? September, ooh, that looks good. September, was it September? November? No. December? Was it December I put down the money? I think it was. So, those I'll need to put up. Um, another empty container. I save the empty containers like that because I end up putting spices and stuff in them. Activated charcoal, maybe? No. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, old TD something or other. And there's more beeswax. I got beeswax everywhere. So I'll shut those down here for the moment. And <laughs> a blade. Another mole. Oh, another mole. Now, they, they came out of this one. The little faces came out of this one. And then felt snapper. I use this for videos. When I'm showing what you can get in the stores. Another box bites the dust. Woohoo! Okay, I don't know where to put those other moles. That's what they are. Okay, and what's in there? No. Garbage. Garbage. One soil sack. Garbage. And these sacks, I have more of them. These go behind the bar. Okay. Shipping box goes under here. This stuff. And Tape goes in there. This goes with the tools. I've got more lotion pieces, container pieces somewhere. Oh, oh my back. Oh. Now this is all construction paper, envelopes, laminated material, notebooks, uh, tissue paper. Um, stick glue pins. I don't know what to do with that for sure. So, there's no room in the inn, as they say. Gracious, we are getting this done. Whew. I'm missing some appliances. I gotta find those. And I gotta do something with these things over here. Oh, uh, more bags. Mama sent me these. Old hamburger containers. She thought I might could use them in some kind of craft project, so 
I set up and sat down to him and see. And garbage. And now I'm going to try. still use this. I'm going to put this over here on the shelf and see what comes of it. As I say, I'll sort it out later. Um, here's my boxes. And I'm putting appliances here. Uh -huh. Receipt. Another soil bag and garbage. Telephone. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to put it over here for the moment. I may put it out for decoration. And whatnot. This is uh, their beef tallow, one quart. I need to put it out here behind the bar. And the penny goes in my pocket. And the tools go over here to go back there. And this is the bag I always kept my, I kept my other stuff in. Yeah, batteries and whatnot for my other camera and so <clears throat> I'm going to set it up here for the moment but it can't stay there okay 
And then we've got to sort this out. And I got another box and it looks really heavy. Oh, piece of wood needs to come out of here. And I was washing this and the red paint started coming off of it just in soapy water. I don't know why. Here's my food processor. I make homemade laundry detergent in. So it's going over here on this appliance rack. And I really need to set my computer and stuff up over here. But I don't have any outlets here. I've got outlets here. So, oh, and somebody gave me a very long Facebook message. So, I'm going to have to plot for a few moments and answer the Facebook message. So, I'll bring you back. Okay, so I put my trays down there. And... Uh, the first rack or shelf there is for um, appliances uh, at the moment. That's what I'm doing with it. <laughs> and uh, anyway, but I've got to um, put, and then these are for soap curing, these here. And uh, so anyway, I've got to clean them though. They're dirty. Uh, but in any case, so. I've got to put these somewhere for the moment and, uh, and everything. So I'm going to divide these buckets out and uh, everything and put them on the soap curing rack uh, for the moment. So. And these will be good for putting products for sale in. Uh, but they've not been washed. So, um, I'm going to get one of these pails for the lids. Some of these have got plastic bags in them, and some have got sawdust in them. So, Plastic bags just can't be sanitary, so I'm gonna throw them away. 
I'm knocking the sawdust out of them from where we've been sawing. Okay, now this goes up front. Okay, so now we can try to work with this other wall. So I'll bring you back. Okay, I cleaned off the counter mostly. I haven't wiped it down. I put my computer stuff up high. Batteries about half down. Okay. I haven't cleaned these out yet on the inside.
Okay. I've been helping a lady decide which um, website hoster to use. Oh. in there. somewhere. Vicky and Moran, M I R I A M, and Misty are all messaging me, and uh, I've been trying to keep up with that while doing this. There's one more over here.
Okay, so now for the test. box pop yet. So let's see if they get hot and let's see if my fuse pops. This is going over there, so I'm gonna point you over this way. I said it's too heavy for me to pick up that whole box. Need to turn you just a touch, I think. Okay. Let's get the rest of this stuff. This is steric acid. Kosher food grip. Cocoa butter that we're 
currently working on. Goes here. That needs to be washed. That needs to be washed. Now this is castor oil, and I don't want to get this confused uh, with the glycerin. Another box box the dust, and I think it's the last box. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Let's put this over to be washed tomorrow. Okay. So, we have got that organized, and part of my lie buckets are not here yet, and we got all this organized. There's my wall of boxes, and I still haven't figured about the turkey roasters. They may fit under there as well. I'm not sure if they'll even fit under there, and, and I'm going to, looking about putting this dishwasher under that cabinet and hooking it up like with water but I don't know that may be a bad idea I, I wanted to put it over there but it's too short to fit over there in that corner and it may be too long too so anyway look a look a look at what we got going on here so let's see about this with these crock pots let's see what happens Okay, we got hot, and they are, and we didn't trip. I'm gonna just unplug them and leave them on high and plug them up tomorrow. It's probably some no no I don't know about. And uh, <coughs> and I'm going home. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna go my my daughter's first. So anyway, so I am going to grab my little purse, and I'm gonna go home. And tomorrow, I'm going to start all over again. Um, but the soapery is to where we can use it. Because I'm out. I'm almost out of bar number 3. And I'm out of bar number 11. And I'm out of day cream. And I'm out of night cream. And i got to make it. It is time to make. I've got my containers. Um, they're in a box. I haven't even opened them. So, we're going to make it work tomorrow. And Friday, we're going to be pre-opened. I guarantee. <laughs> I'm going to make signs, too. I dread that. And i got to figure out pricing, how much to sell everything for, essential oils and the shea butter and all that stuff. Math. I don't want to do math, but i got to do math. And so, all right. So, we're going to get going, and I thank you so much for using my Essential Depot link if you should happen uh, to be needing to buy anything from Essential Depot. If you're local, please come by here and buy Essential Depot products. And um, thank you for going to www.kimberlymcnutt.com. That's www.kim, well, www.kimberly mcnutt dot com and you will find my link to essential depot free soap recipes and my videos categorized and if you would like to see the other cornerstone videos if you would like to see what this building looked like from the day i rented it and by the way it looked horrible uh, all the way to everything we've done up to today if you will go to www.cornerstone C-O-R-N-E-R-S-T-O-N-E -E dash market, M-A-R-K-E-T dot com. You can see all the videos and a lot of pictures during the renovation. Oh, i got to put new ones on too. And tomorrow I'm going to be bringing down a lot of jars that I'm going to try to run through the dishwasher and clean up. 
uh, for reuse, um, recycling. Of course, it'll be at the customer's choice. And, and I'm going to um, try to make soap and maybe make lotion. I don't know if I can hold up to do both though in the same day. And I'm already really, really tired. So pray for me. And you have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.